Ryan. Play with this. this is Ricardo. How are you doing? Very well. It's it's nice to speak with you again. <laughs> so we had uh, some questions for for our audience that um, they're they're submitting the questions. So first of all, what what you consider is the first step to become a Hot Wheels designer? Basically, you're, you're going to need a, a design education, right? A lot of our designers actually came from automotive design schools, uh, myself included. So I studied at the Art Center and College of Design in, in Pasadena, California. Personally, I actually spent 10 years in the car industry before coming to Hot Wheels. Now, not everybody does that, but um, but a lot of our designers do have automotive experience and come from automotive design specific schools. Others will... Um, get just a general degree in product design or industrial design. There are even schools that offer toy design programs and, and some of our designers have, have gone to those schools as well. Okay, and what do you consider might maybe the biggest challenge when it comes to design uh, a car for Hot Wheels? Probably the biggest challenge is to make sure that those cars do everything that we want them to and then we don't sacrifice the look of the car and the excitement of the car. So, you know, there, we have a lot of different requirements in terms of, like, making sure that the car is track compatible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to design it a certain way so that it performs on all the different stunts, go through the boosters, um, can be launched, um, can go through a loop, all that stuff, and try to maintain the look of the car at, at the same time. Now, what are the designs in, in which you are involved with, uh, within the line of uh, Hot Wheels? Now, I am now overseeing all uh, diecast design that's uh, fairly recent in the last six months. So I'm involved in everything, basically, all of the different lines in our, our diecast world. Prior to that, I was very heavily involved in character cars, as you know, and um, kind of the entertainment space within Hot Wheels and our monster trucks as well. I was very hands-on in, in that space, looking at supercars and, and more futuristic cars and looking at the JDM scene and European, you know, touring cars and, and race cars of all sorts. So we're kind of capturing every every element of the car world, right, within our line. Which, which one you consider is your favorite Hot Wheels classic design? I'd have to say Twin Mill. Twin Mill's always been my favorite ever since I was a little kid, actually. And, you know, that was designed by Ira Guilford, came out in 1969. And um, it's just such a classic design. It actually holds up today. It still, still feels very fresh and modern even today, you know. And, of course, that's one of our cars, our full-size cars in our Hot Wheels Garage of Legends. So it's currently on the Legends Tour. And uh, it's, it's just such an exciting car. It's exciting to see it in full size as a real car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is your perspective on what would be the next step on, on toy design? Uh, I think, you know, we're kind of already uh, going there, but I think really it is the cross-section of physical and digital play, right, is really where things are headed. We just launched this, our line, the Hot Wheels 3D line. This, you know, blends this traditional Hot Wheels play with digitally connected um, racing systems that enhance that play, enhance the competition and experimentation. And so I really see that as kind of the, the next step of, of where things are headed. Well, Brian, we are looking forward to seeing you here on the Salon Hot Wheels. And is there something that you want to tell to the Mexican uh, audience who will be uh, attending? Yeah, say it's always such a pleasure to come out to Mexico. And the fans there are the most incredible fans I've, I've seen anywhere in the world. The passion and sort of the genuine excitement that we experience when we come out there is so refreshing and so much fun. And I'm always excited to get out there and meet all the people out there in Mexico. Well, thank you very much for this uh, quick interview. I know you are very busy, but uh, thank you again, and we'll see you soon.